So I said, no, play only. That's what we're doing. Oh, hey, how are the third graders? Ugh. Billy Jenkins asked me the birds and the bees question again, and I told him, birds and bees can't do it. And he said, that's not what I meant, and then made a super rude hand gesture. I have to tell them something, or I'm going to lose control of the class. You gotta tell them this, it works every time. As we know, the stork is the harbinger of creation. So mommy and daddy make nude worship to the stork and then confess their sins to a priest. And if the priest believes them, lightning strikes from the heavens and then transmutes the stork into a new soul. Yeah, no, 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 these are third graders. You gotta use like simple terms. Okay, the batter hits a fly ball to center. The fielder bungles his catch and the runners round the bases and make it home. But the batter gets tagged out by the shortstop. Then a baby arrives. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just tell him that babies are made the same way everything is made. Thousands of years of heat and pressure. Look, he didn't ask me where babies came from. He asked me about sex. Yeah, that's what we told you. Do any of you know what sex is? Yeah. Yes! Shut up, nerd! I had sex. I did. Uh -huh. They say history is written by the victors. But who are these victors? Let's check in with them. Morning, Victor. Hey, Victor. How's it going, Victor? Pretty good. Just erasing all the achievements of women and minorities. Haha, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, victors. Uh -huh. Black holes are the most massive objects in the cosmos. Though only theoretical for much of the 20th century, recent observations have detected evidence of their presence, even within our own galaxy. Much like your mother, black holes are formed when enormous balls of burning gas implode in on themselves and swallow everything within their orbit. Any object cast into a black hole is lost forever, much like my wristwatch, which explains why you were born with a Rolex around your throat, the only time when you have had any value at all. Uh -huh. Hi kids, I'm Mr. Disk, and I'm here to teach you all about the early days of computers. You can put all sorts of things on me, from book reports to chess games, even low-resolution pictures of naked ladies. So let's find out what I've got inside together! This is the disk drive. Put me inside, but be careful. I'm partially exposed. Huh? Congratulations on your purchase of a light switch. Follow along with this instructional video, and you will be a switch expert in no time. The switch functions in both the up and down position. When you enter the room, place your finger, found at the end of your hand, under the sticky outy bit of the switch, then apply force upward. The sticky outy bit of the switch should move upwards and the light should immediately turn on, allowing for delays caused by the human brain processing stimuli resulting from an action. If you lack a finger, or even an entire hand, but you have other appendages, please substitute any appendage available. If you lack any suitable appendages, please find a way to communicate your need for light to another person nearby and have them watch this instructional video. If there are no people nearby and you entered the room but immediately had every appendage bitten off by an apex predator before you could operate the switch, we recommend not turning on the light and instead hiding in the dark from said predator. This seems too complicated. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hey, you almost done out there? Yeah, just a few more calibrations. Acknowledged. Hey, you ever think about how your life might have turned out differently? What? Like, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be someone that really contributed to society. You know, like a firefighter or an actuary. What did you want to be? An astronaut? Huh? Hey there, champ. Let's rap about masturbation. Your friends in the schoolyard may have other names for it, though, such as choking the chicken, peeling the sausage, going to manhandle your hand candle, pushing a git update, catching a diglet, shaking hands with danger, doing your taxes, ejecting the warp core, respecting your shaman, grand slamming at Denny's, waxing nostalgic, taking a moonlight stroll on the website of earthly delights, skin jiggling, 
guessing Rumpel Foreskin's name, befriending a tapir, whooping the snoot, connecting on LinkedIn, hand drying your laundry, liking and subscribing, ganking the hard carry, moving to Colonial Williamsburg. Ugh, I can't fap to this. Huh? In simpler times, all man had to fear was the curse of lycanthropy. But in today's atomic era, fear takes many faces. Are you prepared? No, you're werebeast. We're all familiar with the common lupine man-beast, but consider these terrifying new variations. Were-potato. Were-fly. Were-fridge. Were-waldo. Were-gasm. <laughs> Were-house. And of course, the dreaded were-human. Could you not? <laughs> Do you have trouble telling different kinds of citrus fruit apart? Why not try a color camera? Holy shit! <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm, I'm a simple man with simple understanding. My hammer, I believe in. My, my football, I believe in that. If I can't hold it in my hand, I don't believe in it. Well, uh, what about the laws of thermodynamics? Ah, my hand! Huh? We have a problem. There are people out there who are actually ingesting our detergent pods. We need to come up with a solution ASAP. We could change the product scent. Definitely not. People love the smell of cherries in their laundry. Could we make it a less appealing shape? We can't do that. Our pods are made to resemble Jerry, the jelly bear, our mascot. Could we omit the text, eat me, from the product? It says don't on the back. I don't see how we can make this more clear. Could we at least omit the nutritional information from the package? I suppose so. But the recipe tips stay. Huh? Hey, what's up? I'm fundraising. You want to buy a candy bar? It's $4. $4? Uh, well, it's for charity, right? Sure. Uh, which charity? Me. Excuse me? I'm fundraising for me. I'm sorry, what, what, what are you suffering from? A bone-dry bank account. So all the treatments left you broke? Nah, fam, I bought tons of weed. Oh, medical marijuana. For, for, for pain. Nah. Uh, so what, what are you using the money for? To buy more chocolate bars, so I can make money on volume, so I can hire other people to sell these stupidly overpriced chocolate bars for me, so I can retire on the profits of their labor, fat, wealthy, and super high. Ah, so you do have a disease. What? What disease? Capitalism. I'm down with that. I'm down on that. I'm going down on that. Asteroids are the debris left over from the creation of the solar system, and they give us insight into the formation of the Earth and Moon. These rocky, lifeless objects continue to careen through our skies. However, since the Tunguska event, none of note have impacted on our world. Much like you should continue to miss me with your lifeless hot takes. Let them tumble uselessly, kept company only by the still theoretical virtual fucks I give, popping in and out of existence in the cold and lonely quantum field between the stars. Huh? What's wrong? I just lost my job to a zombie. Wait, your, your coding job? Yeah, 
Apparently when devs die during crunch, they just keep on working and their code gets weirdly better. That's uh, what? One just published a paper on a new sorting algorithm called the Omega Point. People think it was trying to communicate from beyond the grave. Huh. Anyway, I got a lot of free time now. Want to launch a podcast? Oh, yeah. Uh. We're the Gelatines! Making aspics and fruit salad molds cool for the 90s! I'm sweet. I'm filled with all sorts of delicious things. Orange slices, cherries, carrot shavings, and raisins. Yum, yum. And I'm savory, made with a delicious beef consomme and things like tuna, olives, pimento, and carrot shavings. All your favorite dinner time foods. Whoa, slow down, savory. Gelatin's not just for dinner anymore. You can have it on all sorts of special events. Birthdays, weddings, wakes, bar and bat mitzvahs, and quinceaneras. Wow, that's so exciting! But if you want to be cool, just remember this rule. No pineapple. Seriously. We won't set. Huh? Whether you're training for a marathon, studying for exams, or maining Hanzo, your body is burning oxygen at an accelerated rate. So we've imported Glacier Fresh Water from Nepal and doubled the oxygen! Now it's Super Oxygenated H2O2! More oxygen means more attitude! Listen to this actual scientist! What? No, you can't feed people pure hydrogen peroxide, it's incredibly tough. Supox! The Super Oxygenated Water! It's rocket fuel for you! Huh? Hey kids, as a condition of my release, I'm here to yeet with you about substance abuse and peer pressure. If you're at a friend's birthday party and someone tries to give you a beer, you say no. I prefer weed. If you're walking through a dark alley at night and someone tries to sell you crack cocaine, you say, no thank you, I smoke only weed. <sighs> if someone pressures you into trying methamphetamines, you tell them you prefer the natural high of life while high on weed. And if someone offers you marijuana edibles, you say, heck no, I only smoke my weed like Her Majesty's government intended. This message is brought to you by the Canadian Weed Board. Hey, 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 hey. Wait till you're 18. Huh? Can I borrow a pen? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch in the drawer. Wait, no, not that one, you idiot. That's the portal to the shark dimension. Huh? Shark dimension? Where everything is sharks. Wait, if it's all sharks, why didn't water come out? Because, you numpty, it's not the water dimension, it's the shark dimension. So, if I put my hand in here, a shark will bite it off? No, it'll turn into a shark because everything is sharks in the shark dimension. Try to keep up. So if I look at, like, an atom from the shark dimension under a microscope... It'll have a fucking fin and rows of tiny goddamn teeth because it's a shark. What is wrong with you? Also, that electron microscope you're using? A shark! So it'll bite your hands, but you don't have any hands because your hands are sharks. That's the way it works in the shark dimension. Everything is sharks. Am I clear? I... Actually, I do have a few more questions. Daryl! Close the drawer and get your fucking pen already. <laughs> Daryl? Huh? Whoa. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you look really exhausted. I... no, it's fine. I just... I, uh... I had a really weird dream last night. Oh, sounds like it was upsetting. You could say that. I... I, I dreamt that somebody proved that the human brain is the pinnacle of what is physically possible. Meaning that not only are we the smartest things in the world, but we're the smartest things that could ever exist in the universe. Huh. Well, how is that so bad? I mean, that, that could mean that this is just all a simulation and we just found the solution. And then whoever's running this place could just, like, end it and let us out. I don't think that's how that works. If a sim reaches max level, it doesn't get to just leave the game. What if it did? Okay, I have the Octopenis mod, but I'm not sure how to install it. Hold on. Did we just reinvent Roko's Basilisk for horny people?
the hell is Roko's Basilisk? Don't be stupid. Like, literally, don't be stupid. My octopenis depends on it. Right. Uh -huh. Hey, Dylan, I just wanted to touch base, see how things are going with you. What are you working on here? Some kind of spreadsheet? Uh, sort of. I've been charting the K rate of memes on Twitter. It's accelerating at a logarithmic function of population. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if the current growth rates hold, memes will cease to be relevant within a single tick of their appearance by the year 2035. Uh, at that rate, the only thing able to parse them will be specifically designed algorithms. Online culture will become a cipher and will pass beyond the event horizon of human comprehension. We'll be the producers of culture, but be completely unable to understand it. And I don't know what that means. Seriously? Dead serious. <sighs> yeah. Hey, I need you to come and do some more work tonight. Yeah, he's doing it again. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, thank God you're okay. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Because Thanos got all the Infinity Stones and just like 50% of all living beings got blinked out of existence? Oh, no, no. It was that everyone had a 50% chance. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Uh, a anyone we know? Uh, yeah, Todd. Anyone else? Nope. Oh, so the universe did a coin flip and only Todd lost. I guess. Huh. Good. Fuck Todd. Uh -huh. Hail, cousin from the distant past. I bring you a dire warning from the year 35... Th that's a... That's a powerful smell. Oh. Mm. Oh, God. Okay, that's quite the potent aroma they've got going on back here. Okay, just remember your training. Breathe shallow. They told you to prepare for the sm- No, no. Oh, okay. We're out. Hello, Ian. Yeah. Do you want to be hip with the youth? I'm not. You may have heard popular songs referred to as bops, bangers, or sometimes even slapping. But what does that mean? What? You see, bangers are named after ancient pork sausages, which is why they always must be in 4-4 time, because you have to be able to dance the mashed potato. Conversely, bops only came out of beta in 2011 with the release of the first Kids Bop album. And to this day, all Bop 9002 certified songs must be deployed for at least two years on a Kids Bop Megrez class battleship. Now, when a song slaps, that's when it gets truly complicated. Uh -huh. In these observatories, built within a salt mine deep beneath the surface of the Earth, filled with ultra-pure water and lined with incredibly sensitive detectors, scientists have found evidence of the existence of neutrinos, particles so small and weak that billions of them pass through you every second without leaving a trace of their passage. Yet, even here, we are incapable of detecting money in your broke-ass bank account. Uh -huh. Look at all these happy employees. They get their work done on time, morale is high, and nobody is threatening to unionize. And it's all thanks to a proprietary strain of everyone's favorite parasite, Toxoplasma. Once introduced into an employee's brain, Toxoplasma works at the cellular level to increase productivity by reducing feelings of boredom, disloyalty, and individuality. You can't feel sad when I'm interfering with your neuroreceptors. It's also the discreet choice for busy managers. Your employees don't even need to know you've introduced it into their bloodstream. Wow, I, we never get free donuts. So take back control with Toxoplasma. Uh. In a small, remote village in the Andes, the life expectancy is 20 years more than anywhere else on Earth. Whether it is diet or climate, science isn't certain why but researchers are working hard. I refuse to believe it's because they watch Deuce Bigelow male gigolo every day. We can't release these findings. But think of the good we could do. With this knowledge, we could increase human lifespan by 20 years. It would be unethical to call that living.
Huh? Not even one chin up, really. Hey guys, check it out! I traded Sally Biggs, my roast beef sandwich, for her pudding cup. Nice! I brought in a bag of apples and rumbled my whole class for their fruit by the foots because hell, <laughs> I got three linear mouths in my trunk. Deez, what about you? Friggin' Hot Pockets. What? Nice. What you having? I have a caprese salad and this Tupperware of leftover curry. Whoa. Uh, I ain't trading with you. Oh man, Principal Ted's mom is taking him from McDonald's. Aww. Aww. Aww.